All right. So Angela, we are going to interview Angela Williams. She just went diamond this last month. Um, and I've got five questions that I have to ask her. Um, but first I'm just going to let her kind of do a short version of her story. Um, I, your door just moved. <laughs> what that? Yeah, I didn't know if there was a kid in it. Dog. Dog. I was like, uh, they're awake. <laughs> um, so I met Angela in a mom's group and I friended her and I constantly um, was messaging her. I was, uh, we actually went through the messages that we had when we first <laughs> were starting to talk and I was probably a little annoying. I, I think a little bit, um, but I just kept after her because I saw something and I was like, you would be great at this. But, but we first talked about the products and then it was kind of like a, Hey, uh, we have a promotion going on right now. What do you think? And it was just like another reason to reach out to her and just present the business side to her. So I'm going to let her kind of take over, share her story, and then I'm going to go ahead and get in with the questions. So like Danielle said, um, we met in a mom's group. I think when we like just, it was right after I went Emerald actually that we kind of like scrolled back through our messages. And I think when we did, I think it was like three years ago or something like that. Yeah, um, it. Or maybe four years ago now, because I think it was three years from the time that we um, first started, or, or when I first started, and I've been with It Works for just over a year now. So um, I'm in Arizona. I used to be a teacher. Um, I taught first grade for six years, um, and then I have been a stay-at-home mom now for three years, and it with It, with it Works for just over a year. Um, I have three little kids. I have a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and a 10-month-old. <laughs> So my life is a little chaotic. Um, that's why I was running a few minutes late here because I had to get all three of them down. And um, I don't know if they're asleep, but all three of them are quiet and occupied. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so that's just a little bit about who I am. Um, like Danielle said, like I, I started as a customer with her first and then um, she messaged me. I don't even think I had finished my full three months. Um, and she messaged me when the, um, one of the promotions was going on and it was kind of funny because I really was already kind of thinking about it. So I don't know if it was like her ears were ringing type of thing or what, but I think that just goes to show is like, I was thinking about it, but I didn't message her. And so I think it kind of goes to show like how many people out there have actually thought about joining you but haven't decided to message you or whatever it is. So don't be afraid um, to be that, uh, I don't know, to be the first person to reach out. And so um, I really wanted, my why was basically, I mean, I was a stay-at-home mom and yes, that is a huge part of my why, but it wasn't, to be honest, it wasn't my biggest why because I, are, I already have another job that I work from home um, doing part-time and stuff and it's pretty flexible, um, but I wanted more. Like I had a dirt backyard, I wanted a pool, I wanted to be the yes mom, I wanted to um, be able to travel, I wanted to, you know, to put my kids in karate or whatever it is, but um, I think the biggest thing is just finding your why and running with it. So, um, I know Danielle has like specific questions for me and stuff, um, but I think, um, and I'm sure like maybe I'll get into some of that um, with the questions, but like my biggest thing, like I have, I don't even know if you can see it because I have my desktop. And sorry, I'm sitting on my bed. We got a new mattress for my Murphy bed and it's too big, so my Murphy bed won't go up. So I have to sit on my bed. Yeah. Uh, but over there somewhere, there it is. You can see like I have my dream board up on my wall in my office for me to look at every day. My pool is on there, which I guess I could take off, but I'll leave it up there just as a reminder that I did it. <laughs> and there's other things too. So um, I highly, highly suggest having a dream board or something visual to look at every single day as a reminder, especially for those tough days when you're like, screw this, like this, this is too hard, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're going to have those days. And I think for me too, with that is knowing that you're going to have those tough days. So knowing how to handle them or knowing, I just need to make sure I look at my dream board and remind myself of what I'm working so hard for. So when those days do get really hard, I can hunker, hunker down and really, you know, push through that day or whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, 
Now, total side note, obviously we met, Ange I met Angela in a mom's group and like three years later, I get her to join the business. Guys, she's like my best friend right now. We go to the gym every day together. I say every day, we haven't been in like a week. We kind of suck. <laughs> we meal prep together. Our, fr our, our kids are like best friends. Her little girl is 10 days older than my little girl. Our boys are the same age. So we are like BFFs now. And it's just so fun when like something like this happens because of this business. So, so I just wanted to kind of put that out there that, um, if I call her out during this video for anything, like we've got that relationship where, where it's cool now. <laughs> okay. So question number one, when did you decide that you needed, wanted whatever for diamond? Um, when did you decide that last month was what August? Mm -hmm. Um, when did you decide that? And then how did you organize like your month out? So, um, I mean, I guess wanted diamond probably from day one that I joined the business. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I, uh, obviously, I mean, I guess there are some people that go diamond like crazy fast. That wasn't me though. And that's okay. And I think like the majority of us, it is going to take a little bit of time to build our business. And so it took me a little bit more than a year. Um, I went, I went Ruby in October. So I joined in June of last year. I went Ruby in October. I went Emerald in March and then I just went diamond. Um, so it's taken me an average probably of like three months or so in between, um, each promotion, which I think is fine because you want to build a strong, you want to be a strong Ruby. You want to be a strong Emerald. You want to be a strong diamond. Um, so I think that's good. Um, but yeah, from, I think from day one that I joined the business, I wanted to go diamond. And so always having that in my head, like it's up on my dream board, you know, like it's one of the biggest things on my dream board says, um, to diamond and beyond. It was like something that I had printed and put smack in the middle of my dream board. So <laughs> I think having your end goal in mind, I remember when we were doing like, I can't remember if it was a challenge group or what it was, but one of the tasks that we had to do one time was like figure out how much extra money a month we wanted or how much extra money like would help our family. And I think doing that is really beneficial because then you can figure out what you need, what, what level you need to get to. So, um, uh, I think I, I probably have that task. I know Danielle for sure has that task somewhere and I know I have it somewhere too. So, um, from day one and then like, I mean, I wanted to go Emerald right after, I mean, diamond right after Emerald, but um, realistically, I probably didn't really push for it until, um, uh, what is this? September, August, probably July. And then August is when I really like hunkered down and did it. And yeah. so I started in July. I probably could have pushed a little harder in July. I kind of wish I would have, but I didn't. I've had a lot of other stuff going on. Um, so August is when I really, um, went for it. So once August came and you were like, all right, not messing around. This is, I'm going diamond at the end of this month. Like, what did you do to organize your month so that you knew, like, I am going diamond at the end of this mm -hmm. month? So, um, first of all, I have, I do my daily six list and I have certain things. Like, I think everybody needs to have your six list doesn't have to be the same as mine. Like, but figure out what it is that you have time for every single day. Like I, t and to be honest, like if I'm being quite frank, like I wasn't a hundred, I, I was, I wanted diamond for sure, but I wasn't a hundred percent. I was going to get it because I, um, I live a very busy life. Like people tell me they're too busy for this business and I'm going to laugh at you <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, because I have three children. I work another job. My husband, um, works a full-time job. Like I have an exchange student. So basically I have four children. Um, <laughs> and so I had a, I had a lot going on this month for my exchange student program too. Um, but I think like I, without fail, no matter how busy I was that day, I always posted on Facebook and I always green light messaged every single day. Um, and I always add into my network every single day. I would add at least 10 to 20 people on my friends list every single day. So I know that's only three things. I normally, I do my six list, but those are the three that like every single day I made sure I did. Um, and, um, yeah. I don't know. So my six list is the biggest thing and following up with my team, like let your team be leaders also like, and that was a, that was a great thing about this past month. And even this month coming up for you guys too, is the people on your team are pushing for promotions too. And so, um, which is great. Um, but let them like, 
teach them how to be a leader and help them. Don't leave it all on them. Like that, you know, you want to work together, but also like how to teach them how to be a strong leader as well. And it will really pay off in the end, I think. Yeah, that and that's um, so that's called layered leadership, and that's a huge, huge thing that you know. Once you reach diamond and above, like they're constantly talking to you about because you cannot run an entire business and help all these people in your organization. So teaching your team and your leaders to actually be leaders, and then you are pouring in all of your your energy and everything to your leaders, and of course, you're personally sponsored and whatnot. Um, it, not that it makes it easier for you, but it's more efficient of a way to really run a business. So, yeah. okay. Um, all right. No, so number two, so she's already shared this probably a couple of times, but I know Angela better than maybe sometimes she even knows herself better, but <laughs> she, you guys, I have two kids. I run around with my head cut off all day long. I feel like I'm so busy. And when I start to think I'm busy, nope, Angela's busier. So she legit is the busiest person that I know. Okay. So I want you to give me an example of how you worked your business on one of your busy days. Okay. And then I want you to kind of go from there and talk about how you organized like your daily schedule. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think, it's going to become like, I think habit and natural for you too. But one of the things that I have like, um, taught myself and now it's just natural instinct is like, w yeah, even when I'm busy, like I was on, um, at least two trips during the month of August might've even been three. Um, but I was camping with all my exchange with 50 teenagers <laughs> the weekend before promote the end of the month. <laughs> um, and I had a, a family vacation planned as well, but both of those trips I planned ahead. Like I made sure my posts now I know we can't use buffer anymore, which sucks. Mm -hmm. Um, but I still use buffer to save posts. So I made sure that I ahead of time had saved posts that I was going to throw up while I was gone. I brought products with me on my trips to like take pictures or, you know, thank God for my keto coffee while I'm dealing with 50 teenagers, um, whatever it is, but like thinking ahead for even when you're busy. So if you know, like this month is going to be a busy month for you plan ahead. How can you incorporate the business still while you're on your trip? Um, showing that, I don't know, that, that your office can be anywhere type of thing really. And, um, those are the things too, like, especially for getting distributors <clears throat> to join your team. And I know everyone talks about this, but I can't like express how the distributors that I have on my team that have signed and stuff, like probably nine times out of 10 have the conversation has started from some sort of post I made about like my office being at my pool or my office being um, on vacation or camping or whatever it is, because they want to see those real things, you know? So um, just taking it to a level that other people can relate to. <laughs> so even when you're super busy, just make, I mean, you have to be organized. That's the biggest thing. Like you're not going to be successful in my opinion, if you're not organized and don't have a plan. Um, so I had a plan and I knew I was going to be busy, but I also planned ahead with Danielle. So find somebody on your team or somebody you can work with that the last week, once I got back from that camping trip, that like we were going to the gym every day and putting the kids in childcare and sitting in the cafe and working for two hours. <laughs> yes, we did that. <laughs> Judge us uh, or not, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we, we go to a gym that gives us two hours of free childcare day. I don't know if it's free, but, <laughs> um, yeah. but my point being though, is like, I knew I was going to be busy. So I knew that last week was going to have to be like all in. Um, so I don't know, just plan ahead, be organized, um, talk to your team daily, like every single day, especially your leaders, whoever your rubies are, whoever your emeralds are, or, or even your executives. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Um, now, okay. So number three, I could easily probably go off on little tangents here and there, but I will refuse to, um, number three. It says y'all. I clearly meant to push talk. Talk to me about how Diamond can be overwhelming. Okay. Obviously, and, and I'm only saying this because I talk to Angela every single day and she constantly would say, I don't know if I can do Diamond. 
my neck is all red. <laughs> I don't know if I can do diamond. I don't know if I can do it. Di diamond this, diamond that, diamond this, diamond that. Like legit was like getting anxiety every time the word diamond came out of her mouth. Okay. So what we talked about and focused on was not talking about going diamond and talking about the people on her team and talking about helping those people get promoted and focusing really on the three rubies. So can you maybe talk a little bit more about that? Yeah. So definitely figuring out who your three rubies are, or who, depending what you're promoting to, who your executive is, whatever it is, and focus on that more. Um, it definitely helped me, especially because to be honest, like who I went emerald with as a ruby is actually, some of them are, but some of them are not the same. It's not who I went diamond with. So sometimes you have to like, that was some of the overwhelming part of it is people fall off. People aren't, don't have, aren't, aren't going for the promotion this month, whatever it is. Um, so, <clears throat> so that was some of the overwhelming parts of it. So just focusing on getting my three people Ruby, but also another thing I did <laughs> was I had, um, I have a little chalkboard and I actually haven't erased it since last month. But like this was some, and um, like I put how much BV I needed and how many DTs I needed at the at, at the beginning of the month, and I just daily was, um, you know, crossing it out or changing it or whatever it is. And to me, looking at the BV that I needed versus like the chart with the boxes and all that, which yes, I looked at that too. But it, when I look at the BV in my head, I can go, okay, I need ten fit thirties or I need. Um, you know, five cleanses or what for this customer, I mean, for this, um, distributor, distributor yeah. or whatever, if that makes sense. So, um, so I think that was the biggest thing and instilling in each of your distributors that's on your team to complete the steps to success. Like, I think you guys, like, I don't think I realized how helpful the steps to success were until, um, I don't know, a couple months into my business and, um, I don't know, like if you could, like, they're handing to you guys the tools to be successful basically by giving you that. And it's kind of like, I don't know, this is going to be a silly analogy. It's kind of like the yellow brick road. <laughs> like you follow the yellow brick road, you're going to get there, you know, like follow the steps to success and you're going to get there. And there's not, um, now I can't say that I've completed the steps to success every single month, but I have at least gotten four customers every single month. And I'm pretty sure that I've gotten at one, at least one distributor. There might've been a couple months that I didn't. Um, but like the customers, especially because those customers are the ones that are going to turn into your distributors a lot of the times. So at bare minimum, like, I mean, complete the steps of success, but at the absolute bare minimum, you need to get those four customers every single month, um, in order to be successful. Can I highlight one thing because I don't want it to go unnoticed because you say it and it just keeps going kind of thing. You guys take a step back for a second and think about what she just said. She signed four customers a month at least. And she just said it so easy breezy that no one even stopped to probably think about it or think it was a big deal. Those customers become your distributors. There are so many people out there that are like, I can't sign distributors. I don't know how to sign distributors. Nobody's signing with me as distributors. Stop, stop what you're doing. Go back and sign customers because mm -hmm. you can sign customers. You're in this business. You can sign customers. You're using the products. You're sharing the products with people. Go focus on signing customers. Sign 10, set a goal for this month. Sign 10 customers this month. Next month, you're going to sign 10 more customers. And now you're going to go follow up with those 10 customers that you enrolled last month. And then you're going to do the same thing next month. And that's going to be a cycle that works for you. So there's so many people out there that are so frustrated with not being able to sign distributors. And I think that's where they need to pour all of their passion into. I've got top loyal customer enrollers and they're like, I just can't sign distributors. You're a top loyal customer enroller. <laughs> like you just signed 25 customers. Like at least one, two, three of those is going to turn into a distributor because people love our products. We're not selling t-shirts and hats, We're selling all natural products that people fall in love with. So Awesome. Okay. So do you want to add anything else to that one or ready for the next one? Yeah. And just, I was just actually looking real quickly at my chart and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the distributors. And this isn't even all the distributors on my team. This is who I used to go diamond. 
at least nine, and there's probably more because I'm probably not looking at it totally right, but at least nine of those distributors are customers first. And so it's so important. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like that's a mind blowing thing for people to really take a step back and think about. Yeah. Like, I just think that's crazy. So I think that I hopefully, I really hope that that hits home with a lot of people. Um, okay. So number four, I want you to share your biggest tip for somebody that is pushing for Ruby. And then from there, I want you to share your biggest tip for somebody that is going diamond that is really pushing for diamond. So let's do Ruby first. Okay. Well, and to be honest, I think a lot of it can go hand in hand, whether you're pushing for Ruby or Diamond, but obviously like, you know, one Ruby first. <laughs> um, but the biggest thing too is like be a product of the product. I know people say this all the time, but you have to be a product of the product. Po be posting on social media um, pictures with the product or whatever, you know, like, I don't know. I have keto coffee on my desk, <laughs> like, you know, so that I don't... I don't know what I could be doing, but I can randomly take a picture when I'm, if Bentley ran in here or something, need my keto coffee. But my point being like, show people that it's real, that you're not just like, don't use, I, I barely ever put corporate pictures up unless it's like maybe a promotion that's going on or something like that. Yep. Um, don't just use corporate pictures. Like you have to show that you're using these products too. Um, and people, and they, people, cause people will pick up on your excitement. Um, like oh, she's excited about these products, you know? I am not a salesperson, like, at all. I, I do not think I could go do sales. <laughs> um, but the difference between, I think, what we do and, like, and a salesperson is we're just sharing these products with people and we're, we're showing that it's real. Um, and don't be afraid to post your before and afters. Like, I get it, guys. Like, I've had two kids in three years, like, I don't really want to be putting my before and afters on social media entirely. Um, even though like I have to take a step back and like remind myself that it's okay. I'm still nursing all that type of stuff, but, um, and I have improved, like I have had success, but like showing that's real, like people are not looking for your before and afters to go from like, I don't know, a size 16 to a size zero. That's not what they're looking for. Like they just want to see that it's real and that there's progress and that you're doing this too. And when they see that, they're going to uh, respond better to it in my opinion. So mm -hmm. I know that sounds like so simple. Um, and that's, I mean, using the products is not going to get you Ruby. You're going to get you diamond, but if you don't use the products and show everyone that you're using the products, um, there's, there's just, I mean, then you're not going to go Ruby or diamond in my opinion. Um, and then, like, make sure that you understand the business. I mean, uh, like, educate yourselves. Watch the, get on the Zooms, be involved, be engaged. Like, the weekly calls, the Zooms, the go on YouTube. I can tell you every month that I've promoted, um, I have been on YouTube watching videos, like, not even just to people on my team. Like, I'm Google, I'm YouTube, yeah. saying, going Ruby, going Diamond, signing mm -hmm. 10 customers, whatever it is. So you have to educate yourself. Um, and don't just rely on other people to like do it for you. Um, I think is the biggest thing too. Um, and understand the products because. Can I point that out real quick again? I love when you say something, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was a big thing. <laughs> um, do not rely on other people to do it for you. Guys, I want to really highlight this because when I went diamond, and I'm not talking about Angela and her business because hers was a little bit different from when I went diamond. When I went diamond, I took ownership 100% because you guys, I was the one walking away with a bonus. I was the only one walking away with bonus. Obviously now we have like Ruby bonuses and stuff like that. So people were pushing for promotions and bonuses on Angela's team this, um, this past month, but you have to, I don't care what promotion you're working for. I don't care what rank you're going for. You have to take ownership. If there's this volume, this volume, this volume, I want you to up that goal of 10 customers. I want you to up it to 20 because you're going to fill that and you're going to get that bonus and you're going to get that promotion. So take ownership fully. Don't give up on your team. Don't like stop pushing them and talking to them, whatever, but take ownership and claim that you're going to get that done no matter what has to happen. Yeah. So, and also remember too, like, I know they extended the bonuses this month and you know, everybody's probably going after them and I don't know if they're going to extend them again or not, but you know, also remember, like, it's not just about the bonus. The bonus is absolutely fantastic, but I will tell you, there are people on my team that promoted this month that did not get a bonus, and that is okay, um, but you have to, like, you also have to help the people on your team, like, 
stay encouraged and stay excited when, when there's no bonus for them. And remember that, but like, remember like your paycheck's still going up. Um, it's going to make it that much. And don't, if you're not qualified for a bonus this month, for whatever reason, maybe you joined before January or whatever it is, and you're trying to go Ruby or, or Emeralds, don't say, Oh, I'm not doing it because I can't get a bonus because next month you're qualified for that diamond bonus. And if you go, if you're getting yourself one step closer for the next month. So I think that is like so important. So like even in July when I didn't go diamond, I didn't know if they were going to extend. I was definitely praying for it, but I didn't know if they were going to extend. Like even the last week of July, I knew, I knew I was not going to get diamond. Like I was too far away, but I still pushed really hard that last week to make it like just a little bit easier in case they extended for the next month. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Last question. So if you guys have any questions, type them in the chat. Cause then we're going to wrap it up after this last question. If you could change one thing about your month, knowing what you know now, I love this question. What would you have done differently in August? Um, it's a good question and a hard question. <laughs> so you guys, I went diamond at probably 1159 central. <laughs> I think I gave Danielle a heart attack. <laughs> I gave myself a heart attack. <laughs> so it's hard because if, if I could say one thing I would change, it would be that I did wait till the last second. But at the same time, like two, um, I'm, I'm not totally regretful of that in the sense, I mean, obviously with Diamond, I'm not regretful of it. But in the sense that like, I still push super hard that to get this order in, you know? Um, and I, ha I had an insane month. I really did. Like, but I probably would have like, I don't know, the first half of the month, maybe even just pushed a little bit harder in the first half of the month or whatever it is. I think like in my head, I knew I was so busy and yes, Danielle and I had planned that last week to like go all in. But yeah. I think sometimes I was like, Oh, I have the last week. We're going to do it every day the last week, you know? And so if I would have maybe figured out some more time in the beginning. I don't know. I don't even know if that totally answers. Yeah, no, question. no, I think that's good because I, I think, um, anytime I personally have ever pushed for a promotion, like diamond, double diamond, triple diamond, you get to that, those last couple of days and you're like, son of a gun. Like, I wish I just had one more day. Like you, every single promotion that I made, I wish I had one more day. Well, what about um, the second of the month when you went out to dinner for three hours and had drinks with your friends? Would you have liked those three hours back? You know what I mean? So there were some like self-reflection, you know, stuff like that when you're like, okay, let's get serious right now, the first of the month, and I'm not wasting any time. And I feel like sometimes it takes for you pushing really hard and going diamond for you to be like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, next time we're gonna start this, you know, a little bit sooner or take it a little bit more seriously, serious or whatever. And I think that's a big thing too. Like I think so many people, and I've even done this before, think about the first of the month and they're like, Oh, it's the first of the month. Like, I'm gonna breathe for a second, I'm gonna relax. Yes, that I mean that's fine. I'm not telling you to go like crazy on the first of the month. But I will tell you, I think this is probably the first first of the month <laughs> that I didn't completely take a break after going crazy the day before, because I think in my head I had taught myself, I was like, Oh my God, like I can't waste a full day. So I still mm -hmm. like on the first of the month was messaging people, was sharing about my promotion, like all that type of stuff. Um, and I think hopefully that's a lesson for me going forward. Um, because I mean, yes, we want to celebrate on the first of the month and that's okay. Take that time for yourself, but at, le at bare minimum, do your, your six list. I think. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And I remember the first of the month I was like, dang, she is not taking a break. Like she is all in, she's ready to move forward even, even into the next month. So, um, well, thank you so much. Do you have any last things that you want to share uh, tips, tricks, whatever? Um, no, I mean, the only other thing I don't think I really talked about, and I think people, I mean, I think people know this, I would think it's like common sense in a way, especially when you're promoting, but look, have your chart, like whether you laminate it or whatever you do, have your chart in front of you daily, like look at your, your volume daily. Um, and that way it kind of gives you your goal. Like when I wake up first thing in the morning and I try to do it before my kids get up, um, I will look at my volume and update my chart. 
So at bare minimum, I've already done that for the day. So even if I'm out and about running errands or whatever, and I need to move a customer because my alarm goes off, like I've already looked at my chart in my head. So I, I think I know where I need to move that customer or whatever, instead of like yeah. trying to beat the clock and go yeah. over the morning again and stuff like that. So like, those are the things like I do when I wake up in the morning, I, um, I make sure I throw a post up on Facebook and I look at my chart every single morning. That's at bare minimum what I do right away in the morning. Awesome. I do just want to point out also that Angela was my top post to post distributor. So she was my number one person on my entire team that did the most host to post for the entire month. Um, so I'm actually challenging my team to get at least 50 host to posts for September if not aim for a hundred, because you guys, if you think about it, host to post, you are not only enrolling customers, finding people that are interested in these products, but you are also building your network at the same time. I feel like host to post is really where it's at and using text replacement, you're answering the same questions constantly over and over again. It's very, very, very duplicatable. And for new team members that, you know, are joining us, we can share our verbiage and they can make it, you know, kind of sound like them and, and do the same thing that we're doing. So. Well, I think that's important too. Like even with the host to post, like don't reinvent the wheel, like use what's working for other people, yeah. like copy and paste, whatever you have to do, especially in a message. Like, you know, I mean, edit it a little bit. Don't make it look like you just copied and pasted the person, you know? Um, but yeah, the host to post was huge for me. Um, yeah. and I, I don't totally take no for an answer either, but without being pushy, like, and I don't mean like I'm going to force somebody to be my customer or my distributor, but they're not, I'm not going to let them say no, thank you. And be like, okay, have a good day. Like, yep. you know, I'm going to either say, you know, okay, like, can I follow up with you in a few months or what's your hesitation or, um, even just continue the conversation with them so that I have reason to follow up with them later. Like, don't just be like, okay. Yep. <laughs> like, I always ask, do you mind if I ask you what your hesitation is? Or yeah. do you mind me asking you, da 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 da, whatever? I always ask that. So, absolutely, yeah. totally. And agree. if it's the price that's the issue, then I actually ask them if they want to host a post. There you so go. They can get free products. And I've had people be like, honestly, your products don't work. I tried to wrap five years ago, it was terrible, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Love that. I like that. That's their hesitation because now, I know exactly what I'm going to say to that. You know what I mean? And so a lot of times their hesitation is something that you have a quote unquote rebuttal, you know what I mean? To share with them, um, to make them kind of think a little bit more about it. I'm not going to say actually the products do work and da, 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 but I have personal results to share with them and moving forward, maybe she'll become my customer right then. Most likely not, but she'll at least think about it. And then maybe right. later she's more likely to become my customer. So all right. Well, you're the bomb. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you doing this and I will get the recording up. So if anyone needs the recording, hit me up for it. It'll be at my YouTube channel too. So thanks girlfriend. Thanks guys. <laughs> All right. Bye.